UK-based photographer Simon Dell has built a Hobbit-style village just for mice in his garden. The whimsical houses here have all the amenities a mouse could dream of. They are stocked with fresh seasonal foods, and Simon may have single-handedly accelerated evolution in mice as the residents can be seen engaging in human activities, like riding motorcycles and taking photos. There are plenty of mouse traps here, but all aimed at keeping these beautiful rodents happy. It all started with George, a mouse with a cut on his ear. One day, while taking photos of garden birds, Simon spotted George in the grass, standing upright like a meerkat. In the days ahead, George had a partner, Mildred, and soon there were baby mice. Simon set out to create a safe place in the garden, so George and other mice would not fall prey to cats and other animals. The first structure was a simple pile of logs in 2018, and since then the project has continued to expand. Today there are multiple houses here, all interconnected with runways and tubing. The main structures often stay the same, so the mice are not disturbed, but Simon does make changes around the front doors or holes. Simon says mice have gotten used to the changes and are often inquisitive about the additions. But word spreads fast in the wild, and the resident mice have had to deal with trespassers on occasions. Simon has captured the mice interacting with various objects in fascinating ways. When model motorcycles were introduced, they climbed on them as if to ride them. During cold winter nights, he has given them feathers from his old pillows, which they take to their beds for warmth. Simon says mice are used to him being around, as long as he does not make sudden movements or sounds. For food, it's mostly berries, nuts and fruits, and as much as possible, he tries to offer them what he can collect or pick. Given the ultra-luxe accommodations, one would imagine the place would be overrun with mice. But Simon says there's generally about just 8 to 10 that inhabit this village, and some that come and go. And they seem pretty happy to be out in the garden, and don't venture inside his house. So yeah, did you ever think you'd get jealous of a mouse's life? <laughs>